In my session with Tian, our goal was to get a spin rate down. Now, why as a long driver you'd want to get your spin rate down is to maximize your full potential for your distance because there is an optimal amount of spin you do want. So spin rate you need for a driver, right? Because every time a ball spins, it pushes off the air and you gain more height. Now, there is a maximum amount of height that you do want. At some point, too much height makes you actually lose distance, okay? So we want to get a spin rate down so we can get him to hit the ball even further so you can win more long drive events, okay? So what was the cause of Tian's spin rate being high is due to the fact that at impact, he has an open club face, okay? With a club path that's going left. So he's, he's actually, in a way, a little bit slapping the ball. This is causing excessive amount of spin. There's an open club face, open club face, and his club pass moving left, causing extra spin. Now the reason that Tian was doing this is in his backswing, you could see his shaft was moving inside, and there you could see his right palm was facing upwards, which means an open club face. Okay, and from here, in order for him to square up the club face, because he's a good player, he made a compensation. On the way down, his feeling of squaring it up was having a little bit of a higher hands position because higher hands got my right palm to feel more on top. So that's the reason he has his club path going left, but still his face was open, okay? So what we did, we changed his takeaway that he'd feel the shaft more outside the line, which got his right palm on top, so that he wouldn't actually have to do this on the way down. So we reversed the two rolls. So now he's gonna go this way, which will eventually get him to feel that he can now come normally down in his downswing, get the palm on top and release, which will reduce his spin rate eventually.